In this tutorial, we're going to build a scene with a rocket launching from the moon. We're also going to learn how to make an astronaut jump up and down. And we're going to learn how to add fire and sound to our rocket. To get started building this project, go to kids.hatchxr.com. On the top right hand corner, click on New Project and then select Rocket Launch. In the top bar, you will see three buttons for three different modes, Design, Code, and Play. Click on Design to start customizing this scene. Before we continue, let's take a minute to learn how to move around in the Hatch workspace. To zoom in and out, use your mouse wheel or scroll using your trackpad. Using these buttons, you can move left, right, forward, or backward. Or you can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Remember, Hatch is a 3D workspace, so you can also move up and down, like so. Another easy way to move around your scene is to click in space and drag in any direction. If you zoom out, you will see that there is a camera in the scene. Think of the camera as the position or the perspective from which users will see your scene. To be visible in the scene, objects must be placed in front of the camera. Objects that are placed behind the camera will not be visible in your scene. To make an object appear closer, place it closer to the camera. To make an object appear more distant, place it further away from the camera. In this scene, you can see a rocket ship perched on the moon. First, we want to add an astronaut. To do this, click on Add 3D Objects here. Go to the search bar and type Astronaut. Click on the model that you would like to add to your scene. And then click outside the panel to make the panel disappear. Every object in your scene can be moved, rotated, or resized. Since our astronaut has appeared way out here in space, let's first move him onto the moon next to the rocket. To do this, first we have to select the astronaut. To select an object, click on the object or select that object from the Scene Layers toolbar on the left. To move the astronaut, you can click on the Translate button here on the right. Click on the red arrow and move the object right and left. Click and drag on the green arrow to move the object up and down. Click and drag on the blue arrow to move the object forward and backward. I'm going to go ahead and reposition the astronaut. Once you're done, zoom out and try viewing your scene from a few different angles. Great, this looks pretty good. Now I think we should make our rocket bigger. To do this, first, select your rocket. To resize, click on the scale button over here. You'll see that these arrows appear around the object. Click and drag on any of these arrows to increase or decrease the size of the object in the direction of that arrow. Another way to resize is to use the scale section in the toolbar on the right. First, select the rocket. Then, use these values in the toolbar to change the relative size of the object. For example, if you want to double the size of the rocket, where it says 1, enter 2. Great, this looks like a good size. But now, I'm going to go back, click on Translate, and I'm going to use the arrow keys to move the rocket back into position. You can also rotate or turn any object. To turn the rocket, let's first select the rocket. Click on the rotate button on the right. Click and drag along any of these guiding lines to rotate the object in that direction. Let's turn this rocket so that it's facing the astronaut. Now let's turn the astronaut so that he's facing the rocket. That's it. We're done designing our scene. 